Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and today I wanted to talk about how to defeat the Siege Engine in Destiny Rise of Iron. This is going to come from the new raid Wrath in the Machine and this is really not a boss, it's more of a part. But it can be a little bit complicated so I'm going to give some tips to make this a lot easier because we were able to figure some things out. The main problem you're going to have with this part is really the enemies. The enemies are a freaking nightmare. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is jump on top of this crate. There's an ammo box back here and there's a crate that you can jump on. This will protect you from the melees from the dregs. They cannot hit you up here. Now the dregs will throw grenades as well. But I think having a bubble shield down, especially if you have the Helm of Saint on, is a perfect thing. Because the bubble will absorb most of the grenades and all the enemies that will run into the bubble will be blinded. It makes it so much easier if you actually have a bubble and the Helm of Saint. You can also use a tether right here to stun them and that does work as well. Now for the next part, you're going to need to know a lot of things. One of the first things I would recommend is to have at least two people with swords. I personally recommend the raised lighter. I'm using the other fire sword, the new one, because I didn't actually have my raised lighter at the time when I was recording this. But if I did have that, I would be using it because you have to deal with a lot of captains. Now right here, we are actually exploring the siege engine, trying to figure out where we're going to put these components because you actually have to figure that out. You got to know like which uh, item you're going to be carrying here and which item that you're going to have to put where because if you don't know you can really screw up and I'll talk about that at the end where you want to put everything now for this part ships are going to start coming down and the ships are really your biggest enemies the captains suck they're hard but the ships will just totally murder you so normally it's a very good idea to kind of let the ships go away right here I'm just rushing and that might have been kind of a bad idea but you do have plenty of time to actually just kind of chill for a second and let the ships go away because the last thing you want is to die. Now what you have to do is you have to pick up these components and start carrying them. Now you can only carry them for 10 seconds and then someone else has to carry them or you have to wait another 10 seconds and you can carry again. So what I like to do is put down a bubble right here and we're going to let the ship for the most part go away. And we're going to tether up top to try to kill this captain as soon as possible and produce some orbs. I personally think actually having the effect on your bubble that will generate orbs if the bubble is shot is another really good idea for this part because as you're sitting in the bubble you can actually produce some orbs so you can get your tethers back, get your bubbles back and all that kind of good stuff. Now right here we're going to put down another bubble because there's going to be another wave of enemies that we need to quickly deal with and then we're going to move on to the final part which is actually definitely the hardest part in terms of like enemies and everything. Another ship's going to come and once again I would highly recommend to not actually engage the enemies until the ship is gone. Having a Stormcaller Warlock does help right here a lot. Or maybe even having a Hammer Titan would be a good idea. Now I'm going to pick up this warhead to kind of start moving it because you have to keep moving this as you're going. You only have so much time but you actually do have enough time to kind of like let the ships go away, deal with the enemies and then go ahead and get everything on board and put them in the right spot. Once you do that it is over. Now at this point we're going to send one of our sword guides up top onto the siege engine because what he's doing there's going to be a captain at the very top. You have to kill that captain at the very top of the siege engine if you want to actually be able to take any of these components on board because what's going to happen is and you'll see right now a ramp's going to come down on the right side. Unfortunately you can also shoot these stupid mines that will slow you down but a lot of times you know it's just one of those things where you won't catch it in time. Now as we're taking this on board, we're going to keep transferring people carrying so that we can try to get it in as quickly as possible. The warhead will go in the middle. I believe the engine will go on the right as you first get on board. You'll see it right there on the screen. And the final one, which I believe is the dry core, will actually go ahead and go in the back. So that's the one you have to carry the longest. And then once you put that in, you are pretty much done. And what's going to happen is the siege engine is going to fall off the cliff and you will be rewarded. Now I think that the main thing here besides using your tethers, your bubbles, maybe using a storm collar or a hammer class to help clear ads is to also use at least two swords. I think the swords work wonders for this part and also shotguns are pretty good. Now having a sniper is nice for the beginning for shooting the turrets but if you have a scout rifle you can do a lot of damage as well. So I think maybe at least one person with a shotgun, maybe two, and two people with a sword and everyone else with the Gallahorn will make this part an absolute breeze, at least on normal. We don't know what it's going to be like on hard yet. It could be extremely difficult. But 
that's going to be basically everything, guys. I'm going to go down with the ship because I'm the motherfucking captain. And, of course, I have to salute as well. But I really do hope that this has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace. So